Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video. What I'm going to do is this material that we create, it's pretty cool. You can use it for like your floors. You can use it for pretty much anything. It's, it's, it's a cool material to use and I'll upload it to the Patreon. So if you're a member, you can download it and support me in the channel. But without further ado, let's create the material. So we're going to need to create an object to put the material on. So I'm just going to use an icosphere. So shift A mesh icosphere and then click here and right click shade smooth. And what you can do is go S, scale it up. Now what you want to do is go to shading. Let's go here and so we can see what we are doing. We can delete the camera. We're not really going to need it. And then let's go here. So we click on the icosphere and hit new. So the first thing you want to do is go shift A and get a math node. And then put that there. And then what we're going to do is get a Voronoi texture. So shift A, type in Voronoi. And put that over here. And then we're going to change the add to greater than. So click there. And then you want to bring this threshold to about 0.75. And then you want to plug the color into the value and the value into the base color and we can start to see something and then what you want to do is bring the scale up so we can get more of these something like that you can just it doesn't have to be exactly like mine you can get it to about something like that that looks good and then what you can do is go out to your Voino texture and change it to 4d and then what you want to do is bring this here and go shift so click on the Voronoi texture, hold down shift and go shift D to duplicate it and put that over here. And I'm just going to bring this up so we can see a bit better and bring this to like there. And then you're going to do it again. So shift D, duplicate it again. And then one more. So shift D and something like that. Okay. So let's bring this up a bit more so we can work and see what we're doing a little bit better then what you want to do is i'm just going to drag this here and drag this here and then go shift a and get a mix color and plug it in there and then let me zoom in and change put this plug into the factor and then what we can do is click here so it makes this like a pretty bright white and then this color we want to make it like a kind of a color so let's go with like a blue and then go shift a and get an rgb and plug this in here and then plug the color of the rgb into b of the mix shader and then let's change this it's like a blue and then just bring this up something like that let's go there that looks good and what you want to do is go click on the mix go shift d to duplicate it and then plug the greater than into the factor and then you plug this color into b and put that in like that and then what i want to do is bring this here and click on the mix shader go shift d duplicate it plug it in there and then plug this into there and then you want to plug the color into b like that and let's bring this up here go shift a and get a hue saturation value node plug it in there and then change this to 0.7 is fine and then what you want to do is change this now you can see what we're getting we're getting different kind of colors so let's go to something like that and then let's change this one as well to 0.3 and this one to let me just zoom in like 0.9 Go with it 0 0.8 just so we don't have to do it in the future and then what you want to do is let's make some more space here because we're going to need two more of these mix shaders so we click here and then what you want to do is you want to do it for one more so what we do is click there mix shift d duplicate it put that in here and then what you want to do is take this value plug it into the factor like that and you can see there that's what we got then one more so click on it 
shift D duplicate it and then same thing greater than we're going to plug it into the factor and change this like a red and there we go and now we've got it and then what you can do is you can always always change this something different so you can go like that and that looks pretty cool and i like the way that looks and then let's zoom in and last few things you want to do is click on the coat bring this all the way up so it looks kind of shiny you don't have to do it and you can bring the roughness down and that looks quite nice if you want it to be kind of reflective if you don't want it to be reflective you can bring it up and you can bring the weight back down and it can look like that completely up to you but you probably want to bring this up and bring the roughness a little bit down just something like that just so it's got that nice kind of reflection and this is a cool cool looking material so far and there we go and that's the that's the shader so if i click there that's what it looks like and i think it looks pretty cool so yeah i'll upload this to the patreon so if you're a member you can download it supports me in the channel otherwise check out blender kits link in the description check out the patreon like i said and subscribe if you haven't already appreciate the support in the channel see you in the next video peace